Okay, whilst we're waiting for the, I've just finished casting the um, pieces for the spine, the neck, and whilst they're curling down I thought I'd talk about what I've been doing with the foot to actually get it working. That's the original piece that came in the kit. Um, I, I presume that the, the hole that they've got there is actually to allow for a pipe to actually go down and stand into a base uh, to support the actual structure of the skeleton that way. I'm not actually making mine that way, it'll probably be support, it, if it needs any support at all it'll be supported actually from the back um, in a frame style uh, and I want mine to be as, as mobile as possible so this is what I've been working on in terms of getting the foot correct based on the uh, pictures that have been provided to me, thank you very much. Um, the ball joint idea is again very similar to what I did with the neck idea. Um, I've added the knuckles uh, to the foot section to uh, accommodate for where the actual uh, toe, uh, where the toe pistons are going to attach. Whoops, I got that around the wrong way. That should go in that way, sort of idea. Uh, then to allow for the ball joint, which will go in there. Okay, you can see again that works on that same sort of principle as, as the neck. Um, that will be held in the base. Okay, so the base piece will connect like that. Uh, and then, as in a lot of the ones that I've seen, uh, that actually have the missing attachment pistons for the actual feet section. Uh, they will actually be put in as well, which bridge bridge across from this piece here to this piece here, so it'll be a more more accurate sort of model. Um, the the loss of accuracy, if you if you like, is this piece that I've actually added for strength uh, because of the weight that I'm doing in in, what, in my piece. I obviously want it to be very very solid. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is it'll be bolted back through uh, in this position. I'll go back through there, and then there'll be a, a, a third one that will actually come down there and that'll obviously be hidden by the pistons that are attached onto that. Um, the ball, the cup and ball sort of arrangement again will go like that which will give us that sort of movement again and then the final arrangement for that will obviously be the bit which is the leg which will attach hang on a second like that giving us the the movement in that ankle that we're actually after. And that is pretty much it. It uh, still needs a little bit of clean up obviously uh, before I actually go ahead and cast this piece. Um, this obviously needs to be sanded up and everything else. Uh, I'll do a similar lock pin arrangement that will actually go through uh, and lock that piece in permanently. And I'm tossing up at this stage whether or not I'm actually going to be casting this as one, one piece. I'm, I'm, that, that is still a little bit long, it's got to come down to about there. But um, I'm, I'm leaning, to, because of how rough this is on the inside, I'm leaning pretty heavily towards actually mounting that all in there as one piece um, and then casting it as one piece, which I think is very doable. Uh, I can't see any particular reason why it has to be in separate pieces and that should give me additional strength as well if I do it that way as well. That's it.